A military source brands the explosions where the army general itself as a terrorist act carried out by those who serve foreign agendas. Our armed forces deal a severe blow to terrorists in Aleppo, Homs, Hama and Iraq. Bogdanov says that Ibrahimi has notified Russia about his intention to work on the basis of Geneva Statement to solve the Syrian crisis. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our news for today. An official military source has said that the armed terrorist groups who execute foreign agendas carried out this morning a new terrorist act, detonating two suicide cars and an explosive device near the Army General Staff building, causing fire and material damage to the building and injuring several guards. The source pointed out that this terrorist act has coincided with random shooting by some terrorists in the area surrounding the building and nearby streets to spread panic among civilians. The authorities hastened to pursue them in the neighborhood. Initial investigations, however, pointed out that the two explosions were caused, as we mentioned, by two suicide car bombers. The source affirmed that the Army General Command considers this act as an evidence of bankruptcy reached by those who lead the war on Syria. The source affirmed that all the military commanders and the general command officers are safe and that no one of them has been hurt and they continue to perform their daily usual tasks. The source added that this crime will only increase our armed forces' determination to firmly confront terrorism and crush all those who want to encroach upon the security of the homeland and citizens. The following are photos of the two explosions captured by a nearby camera. Our army units have finished clearing Al Husseinia and Al Buwaida in Al Sayyida Zainab in Damascus, suburbs of terrorists, declaring them secure zones. Our armed forces have continued to clear Aleppo and neighboring areas from the armed terrorist groups, inflicting on them heavy losses. An army unit today killed and wounded a large number of terrorists in the industrial zone in Sheikh Najjar. Also in Aleppo, army units liquidated large numbers of terrorists near a Sabah school and the vegetable market in Bustan al Qasr quarter and near Yarmouk school in Al Kalasa. 
in Hama, our armed forces eliminated an armed terrorist group and confiscated the weapons and their position in Tal Bazam crossing point in Soran and the governorate's suburbs. The weapons confiscated included automatic rifles, bombs, and sophisticated communication equipment. Among the terrorists identified as being killed is Abdul Haq Hassan Aboud. The authorities also captured a number of terrorists in Masha al arabi neighborhood in Hamas is in large quantities of weapons that included machine guns, automatic rifles, RPG rifles, BKC, machine guns, uh, Victor Yov, machine gun, hand grenades, ammunition boxes, and dozens of explosive devices, each weighing more than 200 kilograms, planted among residential buildings in Masha al arabi In Homs, our armed forces destroy three cars driven by terrorists near Azawiya Mosque in Al Hashish, Souq, in the city. Another army unit intercepted an armed terrorist group who had attacked citizens and law enforcement troops behind Al Walidiya School in Babhud neighborhood, killing and wounding all the members of the group. The authorities also repelled another armed group that tried to infiltrate from Al Khandaq Street in Babhud neighborhood, killing five members of the group and wounding four others. In Raqqa, an army unit destroyed three cars equipped with Bushka machine guns and a fourth loaded with weapons in Tal Abiyad. All the terrorists and the cars were killed. A source and the governor had said, Army units also intercepted armed groups in Tel Abyad, Ain al Arus, and Turkman, and the vicinity of the border gate and the governorate of Arraqqa, scoring direct hits against the terrorists. The Lebanese army has seized large quantities of weapons and communication equipment when it stormed into a terrorist hideout in Al Berit, Rashaya village. The Lebanese Orientation and Guidance Directorate said the hideout contained large quantities of rifles, hand grenades, and ammunition in addition to military and communication equipment. It added that three suspects on motorcycles were detained. Russian President Vladimir Putin affirmed in Moscow that it is illegal to use force outside the UN jurisdiction. He pointed out that the world cannot act without relying on international law, adding that the UN covenants cannot be replaced by unilateral action because such attempts might threaten world peace and stability. Deputy Russian Foreign Minister Mikhail Bogdanov said that the UN envoy to Syria, Lakhdar Ibrahimi, has stressed to the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov during their meeting on the sideline of the UN General Assembly that he would work on the basis of Geneva Statement to resolve the crisis in Syria, hoping to benefit from this statement without utmost sorry, with utmost efficiency. Deputy Foreign Minister also asserted that his country welcomes any visit by Al Ibrahimi, explaining that Minister Lavrov told Al Ibrahimi that Moscow was ready to receive him at any time. Mr. Bogdanov pointed out that Al Ibrahimi, as an experienced person, starts his work to resolve the crisis in Syria by collecting information and some impression so that he would form specific ideas that he can carry out to Russia. The 67th meeting of the UN General Assembly continued in New York today. U.S. President Barack Obama praised the so-called Arab Spring, which is funded by the West, causing thousands of victims. For his part, the ruler of Qatar called for sending Arab troops into Syria to force it to surrender. In Iraq, finally, five people were killed, including four policemen and two bomb blasts in Babel, and the third near Balad, north of Baghdad. Iraqi sources said that one civilian and an officer, along with his two guards, were killed, while two policemen were injured in two roadside bombs that targeted his vehicle while he was on his way to work in Babel. Another explosive device was detonated at a police checkpoint, killing a policeman and injuring another in the area of Yathrib, near Balad, north of Baghdad. 
With this, we conclude our news bulletin for today. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.